beautiful Zakynthos. First stop of our trip. That, a bakery. That it's the brother of Billy Connolly. Ready? Ready. Let's go have some fun. This is stunning. It reminds me of Southeast Asia. It turns out that it's a bit of a nudist beach. This feels very, very strange. Good morning, guys, from the beautiful Zakynthos, Greece. It's actually our last couple of days in the country before heading to a new destination. And after exploring the north of the island, we thought it was about time to check out the south, specifically the parts that are only accessible by boat. So we are going again with Explore Zakynthos today and then tomorrow we're gonna rent a car and drive around and check out all the spots we haven't seen yet. Cause this island is surprising me. It is, it's so green, it is so lush. It's something that we haven't seen in any of the other Greek islands so far, but we should really show you where we are staying. If you come in the off season, you're gonna have to stay in Zakynthos town. This is where all the locals live. There's like 10,000 people, so bars, restaurants, hotels are open if you stay in the resorts one of the locals is shouting if you stay in the resort areas everything is closed but stay here in the off season and get the beaches to yourself some of the hotels in the resort areas are open but because the restaurants and shops and everything else is closed you'd have to come to town anyway um, everyone's noisy this morning <laughs> everybody is noisy but for 190 pounds for five nights we got a quite a big room with two balconies um, at the Diana Hotel right in the center of town so this is balcony number one you're gonna have to excuse the mess really Huge messy bed. balcony number two our bathroom and there's even spare bed I think you get three choices there's really like three hotels in town three hotels in town this is one of them I don't think it's that bad good morning good morning hello, hello. hello. How, are you? Good. how are you good Good. This is like deja vu. It's deja vu. Yeah. It's a deja yeah. vu. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. You all right? Yeah, how are you? Good, good morning. How are you? Good, morning. Good, morning. good morning. Good morning. We're good to go, eh? We're nice ready. day. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you very Fantastic. much. Fantastic. First stop yeah. of our trip. You got, a bakery. You got to start your day. You got to start your day with a breakfast. Right. It has to be, right? You got to go on a boat and have something from the bakery yeah. in order to keep you going, you know, underwater. Yeah. This is a Fredo espresso, okay? And this is a Fredo Cappuccino. The main secret right now is that we have illegal straws. Look, we're not allowed to have plastic ones, we're allowed to have only paper ones, but here we still go illegal ones. And we can actually drink, drink our coffee. We can do what we want in Zikintos. Yeah, you can do anything you want in that. We're gonna, gonna get a coffee and then we're gonna go straight to the boat, see amazing spots. It's the brother of Billy Connolly. Billy Connolly uh, left, he went in England, but the original stay here in Greece because he knows where to stay, you know? <laughs> We've met our great guide, Ruby. He took us to his favorite bakery, a local bakery. So we've picked up some goods. And now we are at, that was noisy, wasn't it? We're at the um, Bay of Laganas, um, ready to head to the south. One of them boats is our boat. We've got a wade out <laughs> and I can see the islands in the distance. Ready? Ready. Let's go have some fun. This is just stunning. We were planning to head to the Turtle Island first, but decided to go to the further point of Kerry, the area of Kerry, which is famous for caves, this crystal clear blue water, these huge jagged cliffs covered in the greenest of trees. The contrast here are just, wow, amazing. And we're having these whole bays completely to ourselves. This is Stunning, it reminds me of Southeast Asia. I honestly have run out of words to describe it. I think we are, again, so lucky as we were yesterday to be able to come. We're here all on our own in this bay, um, minus the jellyfish. Minus these jellies, but the bluest water. The, the water's the so The whitest clear. of cliffs. And then I don't even know how these trees are growing. They look like they've been edited, don't they? Like the exposure's gone up on them. They're like a bright green. You've got the blue water. Um, yeah, it's just, it's magical. We're literally just about, oh my God, we're going through a rock arch right now. How amazing is that? 
We're through. There's no way I could have done that. There's no way <laughs> my, my driving, my captaincy was not up to that standard. You got us here, but we needed Ruby to take us through the arch. Welcome to paradise. This is paradise. This is Mizites, I think. Um, and it's like unbelievable water, like a milky blue, the pebbles, the sand, and a lot of the rocks have come down and it's formed an even wider beach, I suppose this you could say. This beach again never existed. No, so. so for the first time of the landslides are creating paradise. Yeah, how mad is that? This is otherworldly. Again, we are the only people on this beach. You've got these giant, great white boulders. It looks as if you are in outer space. And then right in front of us is the two giant islands, which actually used to be one, but um, because of the earthquake, it's separated. And I think we can actually go straight through the giant island and come out at a smaller beach on the other side. I think this might be better than the shipwreck one. Look at the size of this island and supposedly just through here is a cave to the other side. <gasps> I'm a little bit nervous, we might get lost. <laughs> you through? I'm through. I don't know if you're gonna make it. Hiya. Change of plan, we were too fat to fit through the cave so we're hiking <gasps> across, wow. isn't it amazing, across the landslide and just there is the tiny other cove. We took the long way <laughs> to get to the other side of the island. Our reward is the most beautiful beach. And our boat to take us back to Turtle Ruby saved Island. Us. <laughs> Ruby saved us. I'll see you in a bit. Now this is what I was most looking forward to today. This is Marifanasi Turtle Island and it looks like something you would find in the tropics but we are just off the coast of Zakynthos. It is actually called Turtle Island. One, because it is shaped like a turtle and two, because we are in the marine park, turtles actually come onto this island and onto the beaches nearby and lay their eggs and it is just it's just stunning. Before we go swimming, I need to eat. I knew this would come in handy. Yeah. My broken triopita. And I have a pizza slice. I don't know the name of it in Greek. It's like a double pizza. Can you see that? It's got like pastry top and bottom, but. I'm already eating it so good. Mm. It doesn't go, does it? Pastries on a paradise beach. Doesn't go, but it is well needed. is like glass. It's like unbelievably see-through um, and surprisingly very, very warm. I cannot believe that it is November the 2nd right now. We are standing on a beach in the sea in 24 degrees with like one other boat here. Apparently in summer this is like 50 crazy boats. 50 boats you can't even get on it properly um it's europe we should be preparing for, for christmas. winter and like christmas <laughs> it's just been halloween and we're now on a beach in the sea this is why i'm gonna go all the way in no i'm gonna dip though you've got to swim it is cold oh my gosh, we've just made it back to port. I have never seen a turtle so big. What Apparently, species of turtle is it? This is a loggerhead. Loggerhead. Apparently, oh. she's 80 years old. They call careta careta. Wow.
Good morning guys from Zakynthos, Greece. Wow, that was the most incredible day. We got to see a loggerhead turtle on the way back, which was just amazing. And if you are gonna book a trip, go with Ruby. We will link all his details below. He is absolutely amazing. We then had a really, really nice dinner in town. We found this place that do like a traditional Mexican on a Wednesday night. They have a Mexican Wednesday in Greece and it was one euro tacos and five euro margaritas, which was great. But it is our last day exploring this amazing, amazing island. And we've got this little run around from Gozanti to help us see a couple of spots that we haven't explored just yet. That has got to be the best parking space ever. It really has. And we were really surprised actually because we were recommended Go Zanti car rentals and they were like 30 euros a day, which I think is actually really, really good. Um, and I think they're open all year round. So you can come and get your car like we did in November. Hopefully you have just as good. 23 as <laughs> degrees, November 3rd. Can't believe it. I'm just gonna keep saying it that we are very, very lucky, but we've made it to our first stop. We've come to the area of Vasilikos, which apparently has the best beaches on the island. It's on the- It definitely does. Which way is it? It's the very south. The very south. Um, and this beach is St. Nicholas. There's a church over there, which is why it's called St. Nicholas. And actually this beach is the finest sand finest sand I there's think, one beach bar i think in the north it was all pebbly rocks pebbles this is very sandy the water looks very glassy we have one beach bar and a couple of people i can't believe somewhere was open the roads are so much fun on this island they're mountainous they're green they're so different to anywhere else we have visited in greece so far and then you find these tiny little bays with fine golden sand and pretty much the whole beach to ourselves, the most perfect thing that like Molly said is the beach restaurant and bar is still. I'm really surprised. Everywhere else on the beaches is closed, apart from town. But here, they've got water sports. They've got a bar. You've got a restaurant, all in one. We found and I think there's, beach. and there's no one in it, so we can have it all to ourselves. The water is so clear. It's glassy. It's even got little um, rainbows from where the sun is reflecting on it. And the best bit of all is that this is a 25-minute drive from the town. And there is St Nicholas. Look at it, just perched on the edge <laughs> of the rock. <laughs> Yamas. Yamas. Mythos and Mythos 0%. I can't believe this is open. The St Nicholas Beach Club right on the beachfront. Um, this is paradise and so unexpected. Can I just remind you it's the 3rd of November. I feel like this is the last week. <laughs> this has got yeah, to be the last week. It can't be open be. much later. It's nearly Christmas. We have got so lucky. We just talked to the barman and this place actually closes for this season tomorrow. Obviously it has a limited menu as they're closing tomorrow. So we have a Greek margarita <laughs> pizza as you do but only nine euros and the zero i need to get back to town drinking a zero is very very difficult as a designated driver they also have the cutest dogs look at where he gets to chill <laughs> We had plans to check out a lot more places on the island, but there was something about St. Nicholas's Beach that just kept me there all day, swimming in the sea, sitting in that bar, but we have made it to Garakas Beach, which is actually the southernmost point of the whole island of Zakynthos, and it's actually somewhere where turtles come to lay their eggs. It's a turtle resting place, um, but also it turns out that it's a bit of a nudist beach. There's a, uh, there's a lot of parts on show on this beach and we had actually been recommended by a lot of people. A lot of people have commented on the video sent in Greece, we need to check out a nudist beach. And we're now contemplating whether we give it a go for the first time ever. But right there, see that? That's the southernmost point of the island. Um, that's the better thing to look at on this beach. They actually think that this, the southernmost point, will become an island because all of this is falling away. So soon, be a brand new island to visit off Sikinthos. This feels very, very strange. I don't think I have ever taken my bikini off 
at a beach. It's um, there's some breezes. There's some breezes going to some places that have not felt. <laughs> Not felt a breeze before. I suppose it's a little bit invigorating. Fresh. Fresh, natural, but I wish there wasn't so many people here. <laughs> I'm gonna swim. It's gonna be cold, but I'm gonna swim. That was, um, that was risky. I'm never doing that again, but it was a beautiful, beautiful beach. And if you're lucky, you can sometimes spot some loggerhead turtles, but we are back in Zanti Town, the place that has been our base for the last five days. It's not necessarily the quaintest of towns. It's not necessarily the most beautiful of towns that you'll find in these cyclades, but it is a real town with a promenade lined with bars and restaurants. It has a beautiful marina, main square, and there are lots of places that stay open year round, which is why I really love this place. I feel like I could spend a good few months. We were actually gonna head up to the old castle for the sunset, but I've been driving all day and it's my last day in Greece. So it's gotta be a beer for sunset. Yamas, yeah, yeah, I need this. <laughs> this is deserved, you were a great driver and this is a great place to come and watch the sunset. This is Manu, it's right sunset. on the waterfront. It's kind of the other side of the island, but you get the pink glow. The sky is going pink, it's beautiful. When actually um, Garakas Beach is protected, it's a national park. So basically that means that you cannot build anything and I just love the fact that they really are this protecting the turtles. the turtles. They do so much and I don't think anyone really thinks of it, but yeah, love that. Now I'm gonna enjoy my beer. Yeah. It would not be our last night in Greece without going to one last traditional taverna. Basically, having a feast of our favourite dishes from the last month. We've got some moussaka, we have got some spicy, it's like a spicy tzatziki type thing. We have the dolmades, and of course, we have Your the favorite. saganaki we've come into. I've got to read the name. We've come into Taverna Nostimun Imar. This is lovely. It's a little bit further down in town and it's right on the front of the marina but just look at how good these are the oh, vine leaves and i just dip it in the spicy sauce and in one i'm gonna miss this i could not get on a flight out of greece without one last freddo cappuccino and cheese pie at the airport And welcome to Tunis, the capital of Tunisia. Welcome to Tunisia. Oh, Tunisia. Tunisia. <laughs> Tunisia. <laughs> Woohoo! Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 